Good afternoon and welcome to the Nottingham Hockey Centre. This is the day five wrap. And whilst we've had a lot of events going on around this Selixa World Masters Hockey European Championships, today is all about the hockey. We can't bring this to you without the support of our media partner, The Hockey Paper, our other sponsors, Ogilvy Fleet and First Vehicle Leasing, Netrams, our exclusive transport partner, and The Hockey Centre, our retail partner for this event here in Nottingham. We've just finished commentary on game 75. We're approximately halfway through the programme. We haven't commentated on all of them. We'd have no voice left, but we have been streaming four games a day from pitch one. As I say, it's all about the results today, which is why I've got to refer to something. The women's over 40 started today. England beat Spain by three goals to nil. In the over 35 men's competition, Germany were delighted just now in the four o'clock game to have a 3-2 victory over England. In the women's over 35s, Ireland beat Germany by four goals to nil. Then unusually, we had two seven goal competition thrillers the Netherlands beat Spain in the over 50s women, all seven goal scorers different across those seven goals. And then just moments later, repeated as Ireland took on Wales in the over 50s women. Again, all seven goal scorers different. Seven goals, a lot of goals in a game. Wasn't the most of the day, however. That went to the over 35s men in an absolutely thrilling end to end encounter that they won by six goals to four. So we're about halfway through number of the pools coming to their conclusion. We're starting to get a feel for who's going to be in the quarterfinals as the week progresses. Teams eyeing up their opponents and the potential route through to those medal games at the weekend. Delighted to have been brought you everything that we've been able to do so far. Lots more still to come from Andy Day and myself, Simon Mason, here at the Selixa World Masters Hockey European Championships.